now going to continue our look at layer adjustments in 3D coats by focusing on blurring and sharpening of textures. So let's go to the textures menu under adjust and you can see where they reside here, smooth and sharpened. But before I do that, I want to isolate a texture so I can see how it's going to be applied here. i turn my normal map off so I can see the textures a bit as well. Okay, so let's go to adjust, smooth current layer. The default value will be 1. Let's turn on preview. Let's smooth it a little bit. I tend to leave the degree uh, pretty low because if you go too high, then it's going to be a bit off. So I leave it usually at 1, 1 1.5 but then I just use the repeat count to crank it up a bit. So let's try three. And I'll turn preview off. You can see the difference. Okay. And just like the other adjustment options, you can apply it to frozen vertices if you need or if you wanted to isolate it to a certain section of your model then you would use a free selection to isolate the part that you want to mask out okay and you could also use the magic wand tool if you had a certain color that you wanted to mask uh, you could do that as well you can always invert the selection as well just as you would in Photoshop so you could apply it to hidden faces as well if you use the hide poly tool um, you can also apply it to all the layers if you need. If you wanted to sharpen all your textures, maybe just a slight bit before you export, that might be a, an option. You can limit it to uh, the individual meshes that you have in the scene and also limit it uh, by UV surfaces. And once more, your object will basically be reflected in your object's panel and your surface materials will be reflected in your surfaces material panel. So I'll turn preview off, click cancel. I'll zoom in, and this time we will look at sharpening. So we'll choose sharpen. And you can see if you have your degree count up um, a bit too high, be a bit rough. Okay. So four is a bit extreme. Let's try two. And uncheck preview. Okay. Might try three. Okay. And just remember with sharpen, okay, you need some type of contrasting textures for it to uh, create a sharpening effect. Now with smooth, you might not need quite as much because it can actually smooth or blur the pixels that are there. But when again when you're sharpening, you're telling 3D code on this layer. I want you to sharpen the levels between a light value and a, and a dark value. So just keep that in mind. Before I finish here, I just want to quickly point out that if you need more options, such as what you have in Photoshop, it's easy enough to do in 3D Coat. You can use each application as an extension of one another. So all you have to do is just hit Control P. 3D Coat is going to ask you know which UV map you want to send to Photoshop and that's it or you can access it from the edit menu sync all layers with external editor and 3D Coat is going to bring Photoshop up for you and you're already set up all the layers that you had hidden in 3D Coat are going to be hidden here so there really is no no fuss at all let me zoom in a little bit Whereas in 3D Coat, you 
smooth or you blurred through the textures adjust menu here in Photoshop obviously you go through the filter menu okay, and you would choose uh, let's say this layer yeah filter blur and you, you have different options here for blurring um, sharpen blockwise or unsharpen so yeah if you want more control in this area then by all means just control P to get into Photoshop and then simply just save control S and then once you're back in 3D coat it updates it's just that simple so that's a quick look at blurring and sharpening in 3D coats paint workspace hope you found it helpful and we'll see you in the next video